To make it easy making an extension, I made a boilerplate template so you don't have to make stuff like the manifest from scratch. So first, download or clone the template from GitHub and open it up in your code editor. The only thing you need to do in the manifest file is change the extension name and add a description. Next, open your browser, click manage extension, turn on developer mode, select load unpacked and select the folder with the template. That's it. Now you can see the extension appear in the extensions pane and you can click on it like any other extension to open the pop-up window. By the way, make sure you subscribe so you're notified when I upload a new video. And give the repository a star too. Now, go back to the code editor and like any other website, the extension has HTML, CSS and JavaScript files for your code. So make the extension the same way you'd make a website. And if a change you make in your code doesn't show up in the pop-up window, go to the extension manager and press reload. If you're looking for inspiration, here's a few of my extension on the Chrome Web Store. Luminous New Tab. It's a new tab extension that replaces the default browser start page. It shows stuff like the date, temperature, your bookmarks, and even lets you do searches. One of my more complex and popular extensions is called Hack This Page. You go to any web page and press hack. This makes all the text on the website completely editable. My extensions are all open source so you can see the code on GitHub. I'll link them in the description. So once you're ready to publish your extension to the Chrome Web Store, you'll have to make a zip archive with all the files. Next, you'll have to go to the Chrome Web Store dev console and make an account. Once you're logged in, press new item in the developer dashboard, then upload your zipped extension. You'll now have to fill out some details about your extension like its description, category and language. Then you'll have to upload your extension logo in a few different sizes and you can also add some screenshots. Then in the Privacy Practices tab, you'll have to fill out a single purpose description where you basically have to write what your extension does. You'll then have to declare if you're using any remote code and make sure you certify all the disclosures. Once you do all of this, the Submit for Review button should become blue and you should be able to see your extension in the Chrome Web Store in a few days. Also, I just made a Discord server. Make sure you join that. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I'll see you guys next time.